Hello, this is Steve Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse, and I'm doing a quick video recording tutorial here for one of the new members on MyVersaCam.com. He was having an issue with a bitmap image that he's trying to trace around and get the contour cut where he wants it on there. Uh, at the end of his job, the results are is that his contour cut is a little bit off because he's going directly on the edge of the image and it's allowing a little bit of white to show through. So I'm going to use the same steps that he used to get the results that he get and then show you how to contour it in to, to move that cut line a little bit. Um, there are a ton of different ways to go about this and this is just one of the many ways to do the project that we have here. So we have the bitmap image right here. You can move it aside and you can see that it's a, I've made a copy already and placed it on top of it so I could actually delete that. We've got the original image here and you can see that original image just move it around a little bit and yeah, my computer's being a little bit slow actually yeah, move that image a little bit so I usually hit P and put it back into the middle of the screen there so I'm going to hit edit and I could use shortcuts to do this too uh, control C would copy it and you can see below that control V to paste it so I'll just hit control V and now I've got it pasted I've got a copy on top of it so what he did from here is a neat little trick and way to do it. He took that second one there and changed the mode of that bitmap, made it to a black and white, one bit, and then in the dialog menu here you're going to change the conversion method to line art. And what we're looking for that one is you can see a nice line in there but we wanted the outside edges of it so I'm going to move the image around just a little bit so I can see the edge of it and you can see I would miss it all right here. So I need to change the threshold on that. So I'll bump the threshold way up on this so I get a nice dark line right there that when I trace using Corel's auto trace function that I'll get that line, that definition that I'm looking for. And I could actually bump this all the way completely up and it's not going to affect anything there. I'll move this around towards the top where we've got some white edges. And I want to make sure that all that shows all the way across. And it, it does. We've got a good line right here on the graphic. So I'll hit OK with that. And then we'll take this image here. Now I've got this one bit black and white image and I'm going to use the trace function in here. So in Corel X5 the trace function is right up at the top. I'll choose an outline trace and I'm going to do line art with it. I don't need anything real fancy on it. It asked me to reduce the bitmap because it's a high file size right now. So I'll let it reduce it and it's going to go through its calculation on this on how to do that and I do want to delete the original image I don't need that image in the background anymore so I've got a good line I might want to smooth it out just a hair here uh, it looks like it's, it's a little choppy on that especially in this corner right there so I can use the slider bar to to change my smoothness and that's, that's fairly nice dark outline right there and that's what we're looking for so when I press OK on this it finishes up what it did there and I've got this black outline, it's a vector object. If I go to view and into simple wireframe, I'll be able to see that that's a right there. I've got my vector object and those are the lines that I'm going to use to cut with. Um, I can even right click on the image below it and lock that object so any, any work that I do now on the vector image on top is not going to affect that one down below. So if I zoom in here, I'll press my Z key and select an area to zoom in I can see there's a little node there that might give me an issue and a little bit right over here that might give me an issue but it's not anything that's going to be a terribly hard to work with so I'll hit F4 to go back out to the full screen use my pick tool again and I'm just gonna work with the vector image that I have here so on this vector image I can ungroup everything and we'll give it no well let's switch back to a, a normal view so you can see what's going on here and we'll go back to enhance view and I'll give it no fill and then I'll right click on my cut contour so now I've got a cut line going around the outside of the entire image there it's perfect right on the edge if we zoom in on this I can see it's it's hitting where I want it to there's a couple small spots like this right here which may be problematic so if I needed to I could go in and I could edit some of those nodes I've got the nodes right here and I'll, I'll zoom in on this a bit more so I can get closer and I can see some some spots there that I don't really need like those nodes there they're extra and I can just delete them there was a piece of graphic underneath that this one here if I click on it 
Well, I can see that this is a rounded corner here, so let's just do this. We'll add a node right here, and then we'll add a node here, and then take this guy, and once I've double clicked there, I can bring it in so it's more on the spot there, and I can even go up and choose it to a cusp by clicking on this up here. That'll now make it a cusp node, and I could take these corners here, and I could make it more of a sharp corner in there if I wanted to to get that graphic more true to form. And I can see down below here that these nodes right here on the interior of it, I don't need any of those. So I can select those right there and just delete them right out. Now I'll hit F4 to zoom out on the whole design again. You can see there's a ton of nodes up in here that I don't need. Um, an easier way to get rid of all the stuff that's on the inside right there is I'll go back to my pick tool and all these are separated objects. So you saw where I've got all my combined trim and weld functions. So what I can do is click outside of this and I'll draw a marquee box around all of that stuff on the inside that I don't need. And once I have it selected, just simply hit delete. And when the delete function carries through for me there, my computer's acting a little bit slow. Uh, and I got most of them, but I, I must not have had them all ungrouped or something. Now what I'll do is I'll break the curve apart. There were actually what had happened there is there were some nodes on the outside there that I did need. When I click on this, I can see that I've got this as one single curve altogether. So I'll right click on it, break curve apart, and now there are all a whole bunch of separate objects on there. So now when I do that marquee and select across here, I'm just selecting those items in there and I hit delete and they're gone. I did want to keep my spot on the inside here and the handle Let's see if I can select just that portion there because that is part of where I want my cut line to go. So with that selected, I'll select the outer portion here and now I can combine these two. It's two separate objects at this point, but I want it to work as one. So what I'll do is I'll go up here to my weld trim functions and everything and I'll hit the combine tool right there. So now it's a single object. Hit F4 so I can see everything that I'm working with and I'll go over to my contour tool. Uh, if the contour tool is not showing directly there, there's a little triangle right here you can click on and it'll bring out the expanded menu so I can pick the contour tool. With my contour tool selected, now I can choose if I want the contour to go inside or outside towards the center. However, on this one I want it to be an inside contour. So I'll select that and you can see I had it at .025. Let's zoom in and if, see if that's about where we want it. So 0 0.025 might be a little bit much. Um, so I'll go back to my contour tool and I can adjust that there. I can actually just press the little down button on that and adjust where I want to. 0 0.015, that may work very well for the object that we're working with. Now that contour is a property of the outline right there. So I need to break that contour apart. With it still selected there, I can right click on it. Oh, let's actually select outside of it go back to my pick tool and then when I right click right on the edge of that there it should give me the break contour group apart right there or I can hit control K as a, as a shortcut for that so when I break that contour group apart now there are two separate objects when I click on the outside one you can see that this is an object all of its own and I can drag it away and the inside contour that I wanted to be my cut line is right there I can click on that one there and now give it that cut contour 100% color there even change it to a hairline go over to my properties box here change that to a hairline and I'll delete the original one that I had there that I don't need anymore oops I might have hit an extra button there and I can see there's a couple small areas that have issues like this right here that's not quite where I want it so again I'll go over to my node edit tool select the object and I can zoom in on this area here and see these nodes here are a little too far down so I go back to my node edit and maybe I'll delete this one delete this one grab this guy he's a he's a little off too and now I can start working with that line there that's a little bit better and I can adjust by grabbing the, the little arrow here and dragging it out let's see what's going on with this line right click on the line there and it's at a line so let's just get rid of this dot here, that, that node, and see if I've got a little better control. There we go. That's how I wanted it. So now I can adjust that so it's a little bit smoother, 
and go around and maybe edit some of these but the bottom line is I've got the line a little bit in from where it was before so when I print and cut this now I export it out bring it into VersaWorks and print and cut it it will be into the graphic itself and we won't have any white showing around I hope this video was helpful for all of you out there and that it may have helped solve a problem for you on your print and cut if you're looking for more videos, please send me suggestions and recommendations on the YouTube channel, Stephen Jackson IW, or you can email me directly at stephen at imprintables.com. Thanks for stopping by.